Hey guys, just thought I'd do another quick video. Um, I'm just in the process of building the um, the big wig, the 2017 Riri, um, and I've got to the stage of the shell and the masking. Now I know this is quite tricky, and um, somebody asked me to do some photos, but I thought I'd just make a quick video um, to show you how I do it. <clears throat> now I am no expert when it comes to doing body shells or painting. Um, I just do the basics. So. Probably proper painters will know a much better way of doing this and easier. But this is the way I do the two tone. So as you can see, we've got the big wig shell, uh, and somewhere here we've got to mask the um, for the sticker. So what I do, um, as you can see, I um, I cut the stickers out. Obviously the shell's got the protective film on still. Um, it's all 100% cut out to shape. I've done all that from the edges. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the next stage I do, I've cut the stickers out now uh, exactly. Um, and as you can see we can place them roughly where they sit on the shell and this gives us a rough idea so the way I do it I get it as close as we've got a load of scope to get it you know from from that section it's huge it's it's this section we've got to get in the correct place on the shell um, so what I do I, t I put it in position I get a big, big fat black marker pen I do a line there and a line there that gives me my starting point and then I do a line underneath here. Um, what that does me when it takes it off, it'll give me, you know, I can picture where the line's roughly got to go. Um, then what I've done on the other side, so that's the two lines I was talking about, or the three lines I should say. I then do the imaginary dotted line on the outside, again with thick marker. Um, now again, you've got a bit of scope to play with this and get it get it right if you get it wrong. Um, so before, obviously before you do anything, you just place the sticker back on to where roughly it's going to go. So what we're looking at now is obviously the fins are white. So everything else is the big wig blue. So this bit here is all going to be blue and down there. And obviously the, the dividing sticker, the good thing about this as well is this doesn't have to be a nice crisp line. If a paint seeps through slightly, it doesn't matter in the slightest. Um, so what you've got to be looking for is obviously is the decal covering all the marks. Um, Sorry, my cat's just decided to join us. Um, of, of which you just place the stick of the decal back on and get it in your head exactly where it's going to be. Now, if I get that spraying right where I've masked, that's going to be cock on. Blue to the top and then the rest of it will be in white. Um, so that's how I do it. The next tricky spot, I use um, the Tamiya um, fine masking tape, which is ideal. But this shell is its a really pig to do. So obviously mask on the inside and again I've just followed the dotted line on the outside but when you get to here it's an absolute nightmare because you can't get your fingers in so what you have to what I had to do was I get the bend here and if you make sure that that angles correct then you can hold your masking tape and push it down uh, and you just got to do the best you can and keep trying to make sure it's it's close to those lines you know as I say we have got a lot of room to play well we've got some room to play with if we if we get it slightly a couple of mil out um, once you get your masking tape on, you've got to make sure, obviously, it's hard down. Um, and then the next process I'm going to do, I'm going to use a slightly um, thicker masking tape. And then we'll just mask the rest of this off. Um, I'll give it a, an extra wipe, get the fingerprints off of it. And then we'll uh, we'll get it outside and we'll, we'll give it the blue coat, first of all. Um, um, and then what I'll do is I'll bring it back in and I'll take, obviously take the masking off. And then I will double check with the decals again that when they go on, you know, the, the blue is exactly where it should be. And then in that case, it's just back out. Don't even have to mask the second time. It's just a white spray over the edges. Happy days. So that's the plan. Um, now, I'm, I'm scared to death. But I'm, I'm giving myself a kiss of death here. I'm going to do something wrong. Um... So hopefully I've I've covered all the bases before I let, let rip with a spray can, um, and I, what I'll do is I'll I'll post when it's finished tonight when the car's all completely finished and decaled up, and uh, we'll go through the finished product and hopefully we'll yeah the, there'll be a nice crisp blue and white line there. So I hope this has helped any of you uh, big wig fans who uh, are just holding off spraying it because of this. Um, um, oh, just one more thing while I've got it. On the manual here, the cockpit section is in black. Now, obviously, you you know, the, the Tamiya Purist will, mask, Purist will mark all that off and they'll spray it black. I don't bother. As you've seen with my previous videos, big fat marker pen, 
no problem at all. Don't even worry about that black section at the moment. Get your blue and your white done. Get that finished off. And then, um, once, it, once the body's done, take the film, the protective film back off of it. And then um, colour that section in with this marker pen. It'll literally take about three minutes to do that full section in marker pen. Um, and it's it it just it's a fantastic finish you get from a on the on the out when you do it on the inside it's not particularly that good, but when you um, when you do the marker pen on the outside once it's dry you can't tell it's marker pen, and uh, it's a really nice gloss finish. So I, as I say, I hope that helps. Um, we'll go through the the final car at the end tonight. I'll make do another quick video. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this. We're going to be putting some more videos out there pretty soon. Um, thank you, bye. Right here guys, this is a, the shell all mat, it's masked up now. As you can see, that's it done. Both areas. Double checked it with the decals and I'm pretty happy with it. That's what it looks like. Obviously when you're doing this, you've got to make sure that that, that line is on both sides is uh, pushed really hard down with your fingers to make sure no paint's going to see through. Right, now the horrible bit, the moment of truth. So I'm going to warm the spray can up, get out to the garage, and um, we'll get this blue coat, give it a couple of coats of blue, um, and we'll see how that looks. So, fingers crossed. Right, gone past the point of no return now. First couple of coats are on. Um, fingers crossed, as you can see. Um, let that dry off for a bit. Problem areas are obviously where these wings go. That's a complete pig to get into. Um, you can't drown it in paint, it's the worst thing you can do. So you've just got to let it dry um, and just apply a few more coats as you do it. Right, that's the next bit done. So that's the paint done, fingers crossed. Comes out now in front of a nice red hot fire. Um, and we'll leave it there for 10 20 minutes so the paint gets hard. Um, as you can see, fingers crossed, it looks like I've covered all the bits I needed to. Um, but we won't know that until um, the masking's off. Right, that's the masking off. Um, bit of a problem, um, as you can see, the, the spray there, but that's on the outside of the shell. That's on the protective film. Um, so at first glance it looks okay, but the problem is, um, as you can see there, I can't trust, I'm not going to be able to trust, I'm going to have to take the film off before I apply the white paint because I've got to make sure that there's not a speck of blue there. Now obviously you can see that's that's not too bad, but if you look closely on that edge, look closely, there look, there's a speck of blue, so I'm going to have to get rid of that before I apply any of the white paint, which is going to be a ball ache. So I'm actually going to have to take the protective film off, which I'm a bit gutted about, to double check it all, and then remove any surplus blue, um, and then apply the white. Okay, not to worry. Right guys, this is the last video on the painting of the body. Um, so I've taken all the masking off, I've let the white paint dry, um I've used the I'll show you the Catamia polycarbonate body cleaner, which is a paint stripper as well. Um because I got because I had to take the film, protective film off the outside, I got a little bit of overspray of the white, which you can feel, you can't see but you can feel it. Um you just put it on a on a, a cloth, a tiny little bit, and just wipe it over and it just takes it straight off. It's really easy. Um, so I've done that, I've got one little blemish there, which I just need to touch up, it's just white, there's no blue, um, which I just need to give a dab of paint, which I'll use it, I'll do that later. Um, and everything else, there's a few little blemishes, but it's all in the right places, like there, there's a four wheel drive sticker goes. Um, so all in all, it's not too bad, um, but it's it's not very pleasant doing it, I've got to say. Um, it's a worry that you're going to destroy it. Um, but to show you, the other side, what I've done is I've put the decal on, so you can see, and this is all this side's all properly cleaned up, and as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, as I say, it's not 100% perfect, but to the untrained eye, it's as good as you're going to get, and I, I'm well chuffed with that. 
Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. As you can see, the, it's all in the right places, the paint. Um, so I'm going to apply the other decal, and um, that's about it. Um, so I hope this whole video on painting the big wig has helped you. Um, as I say, I'm going to go over this with black marker pen, the cockpit. Um, I've finished the driver. Driver again, that's all black marker. Uh, apart from his flesh colour. Um, I've got a little white up touch up but I'll just go over and just tighten those little bits up. Um, but as you can see he's looking pretty cool. Um, so and I'll just yeah as I said I'll, I'll paint this cockpit around him with black marker pen. Um, so yeah as I say I hope this has helped. Um, please subscribe if you like what you see. I'm planning to do some more videos like this and um, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.